Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're gonna sit down, hang out, and put our makeup on together today. I'm gonna share with you guys the makeup routine I do when I want super glowy skin, which we all want. And this is using some of my favorite cream products. I personally love cream products. I use them all the time. I feel like as we get older, cream products should kind of become more of our friend. They just really blend in with your skin and don't look dry against our skin and just kind of give us that youthful glow to our skin. So I'm going to share with you my go-to cream makeup routine and 99% of these products are clean. Good for our skin products too. So you know I'm all about that. So that is what we're going to do today. Grab some coffee. Get ready with me. I have my cold brew coffee ready right here. It's actually almost gone already. I am in desperate need of coffee this morning. So let's hang out and let's get ready together and let's get started. Okay, let's jump into it. So I have nothing on my skin right now other than my skincare. Um, you guys know me. I am not going to really wear a foundation. I'm going to use my tinted SPFs as a foundation and you guys know my foundation slash SPF of choice is a mix of the Revision IntelliShade True Physical and the Color Science Face Shield in Bronze. I have just been combining these two to create like the perfect foundation base every single day. This is just my go-to, so I'm going to use this today. But before I get started with that, I'm actually going to prime my skin with a product that I've just become obsessed with. It's the Color Science The Bronzing Perfector. It's a primer and it's an SPF. It's like a combination of a couple different things, but it literally makes your pores invisible. I love the bronzing one and then they have a brightening one, which is bomb. I have been priming my skin with this. I'm just using this before my SPFs now and I just am obsessed with what it does to your pores. It just really makes them completely blurred and invisible. So I just kind of take this down the T-zone here and just, you know, the usual kind of priming spots, but it does have that mineral SPF in it as well. It has some good antioxidants and, you know, color science. They're just awesome. So their primers are just kind of like my latest obsession. All right, now to kind of put that glow back onto our skin here. So I'm going to mix these in my palm, but I'm also going to mix a little bit of the Glow Biotic. This is the Probiotic Hydro Glow Cream Oil, and this stuff is amazing. So not only is it super healthy and really good and beneficial for your skin, there's a lot of good ingredients in here, but this will give dull, dry skin, any type of skin, the most beautiful glow. You can mix this into foundations. You can use it on its own. I have been mixing it in with my SPFs and it just gives the best glow. So I'm gonna use this today. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of that in my whole little cocktail here. All right, so you can see I put the SPFs together just on my finger and then I'm gonna take just a little pump of that, like a little drop of the glow, Hydro Glow. I'm going to literally just combine all of those together and I'm just going to apply all over just like you would with an SPF or, you know, tinted moisturizer. The Globiotics Hydro Glow just really does give such a natural, beautiful glow to the skin though. I love it. So good for like those summer, like glowy skin days, you know, when you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, but you really want your skin to glow. Like I love that look, especially in the summer, it's just so pretty. Um, that will do the trick. All right, now we got our SPF on, no foundation needed. And you can see what that just did to my skin, just makes it literally flawless. I am going to start out with the eyes now. I'm gonna take the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly, and I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with this. Then we're gonna use the Nude Sticks Matte eyeshadow pencils today. I love nude sticks. I love their like eyeshadow pencils. These are the matte ones. So I'm going to do an all matte look today, but they're so easy to blend and use and you can kind of just put them where you want and blend them out so easily and then they stay put. So I'm going to use the shade putty, which is like a really pretty, just kind of like neutrally, like creamy beige. And I'm just going to put this on the eyelid. These come in mattes, they come in like sheen shades. I have so many of all the different colors and I use them, gosh, it's like honestly almost daily. They're just so easy. And then I'm just gonna kind of press that in to my eyelid and just kind of 
you know, get it in place there. Then we're gonna take the shade Chocolate, which is like a matte brown, and I'm just going to apply this and kind of blend this in to the crease area. And watch how unprecise and how unprofessional I do this, yet it still comes out so good. So just another reason I love these nude six pencils. Like I literally just kind of like outline, just like the outer portion of my eye, like literally like that. And then I'm gonna take this Sigma Buff and Blend brush, and then just blend this just out, you know, like around the crease area. It's so easy and so quick. My days are so busy and so jam packed that if I'm gonna be doing eyeshadow during the day, I want it just to be so easy. I want it to literally blend itself and that is what these nude six pencils do. And like I said, I usually do like a sheeny shade and then like a matte shade in the crease, but today I'm going all matte and I love all matte eye looks too. So that's literally how easy that is. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, just again, just kind of like draw some like weird little drawing on the side of my eye and then blend that out. I know some people are kind of scared to use cream eyeshadow products like this, but these do not budge at all. And if you have drier, you know, eyelids or anything, these just work so well because they don't look dry on your eyes. They just look very like, you know, like natural and they don't sink into little lines or, you know, we get like little creepy eyelids, you know, a little bit as we get older. These just stay looking very like youthful and not sinking into every little detail that we don't want them to be sinking into. All right, then I'm gonna take the 100% Pure Creamy Long Lasting Eyeliner in the shade Black, and I'm gonna push this up into the waterline and just tight line the upper lashes. All right, so I kinda wanna do a little eyeliner today, just very subtle, very natural. So I am gonna take the Viseart Neutral Mattes, I think this is called. This is the eyeshadow palette I love to use just for like quick eyeliner looks because they have all these different colors. I, sometimes if I'm like going out at night, I'll use more of a black shade, but today we're just kind of doing like a toned down, very, you know, neutral brownish look. So I'm just gonna take this darker brown right here, pick up some of that onto my little pencil brush, and I'm just gonna push this right into the upper lash line. We're just gonna kind of give ourselves a very natural little smudged out eyeliner look. All right, so I just curled my eyelashes. We're gonna use today the Bite Beauty Mascara. This is a kind of relatively new mascara and I really like it. Bite Beauty is a clean brand and this mascara is actually super good for a clean mascara brand because most clean mascaras I actually just don't like that much. This one is really good. I do love my L'Oreal, you know, Lash Paradise. As you guys know, that mascara is just like my favorite, but this Bite Beauty is really awesome. And sometimes I will use this and then take a little bit of my L'Oreal and just kind of like coat it with the L'Oreal too. So sometimes I combine mascaras. But if you haven't tried this mascara and you're looking for a clean mascara and you like, you know, volume and length, and this one's actually super black too, which I like. It kind of gives you that more dramatic look, which for me, a lot of clean mascaras just don't give me that like volume. They're very like, I don't know, they leave my eyelashes sparse a lot. So this one just kind of does it all. So if you're looking for a clean mascara, I definitely would suggest trying this one. All right, so moving on to concealer next, I'm gonna take my Color Science Total Eye, the three-in-one renewal therapy. This concealer is my favorite, and it's not only like amazing anti-aging ingredients, good for your skin, it's got a mineral SPF in it to protect the under eyes, but it has great coverage. This is like the best for more mature skin, and anyone who's looking for like a, an amazing ingredient concealer, I can't say enough good things about this. Um, I'm going to take this and Dab some under my eyes. This is like a daily must have for me. So I take that, I just kind of dab it under my eyes and then I'm gonna use the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki brush and I'm gonna take this and pat this under my eyes. I like to use this brush with this concealer cause it just keeps the, you know, concealer just in place and it blends it in, but it's not using like a damp sponge or anything that's gonna kind of like absorb the ingredients or anything of the concealer. 
So I like this brush. It's like the perfect way to just blend this under the eye. And then I take the Pacifica. This is the Liquid Cover Full Coverage Lasting Concealer. This is, again, an all-natural concealer, and I really like this one. And I'm just going to take this and just dab a tiny amount, just like in the very corners of my eye just like that's all I need when you use the color science you can get away with just like not a lot of concealer at all which is the best um and then I'm just going to take a little bit of it and I kind of bring it down around my nose just a little like I always do I kind of just brighten up the smile lines a little bit there so I'm taking that same brush and I'm just going to pat that just right on top of the color science sometimes I actually mix the color science with an actual concealer, but I honestly find that you just don't need a lot of actual concealer when you use the color science. So you can get away with just a much more natural look under the eyes, less concealer when you use the color science first. So I kind of have just have been doing it that way. And then I'm just gonna pat the concealer, just like I said, just kind of like down the smile lines and just brightens that area up a little bit. All right, so then I'm gonna take the Well People, what is this called again? The Bio Brightener Powder. Do you remember this? I have talked about this for years. It's the best setting powder for the under eyes, completely all natural. Literally used to remind me of the old La Mer powder that everyone used to be obsessed with. I mean, it was a really good powder, but it was like $120 for the La Mer powder, and this literally looked exactly the same. Plus, this is all clean, like really, like barely any ingredients to this. It's just good for your skin. So I have been loving this for years. I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder. This sponge is like barely, barely damp. I'm gonna get a little bit of it onto my sponge. And I'm just going to kind of lightly dab just under the eyes, just very lightly. We don't need a lot of powder. Everything kind of sets and doesn't budge. But I like this just to, you know, keep everything in place for sure. And then it just brightens up that under eye just a little bit more. All right, so we're going to finish up the under eyes. I'm going to take the Viseart palette. I'm just going to get a neutral brown shade. And I'm just going to smudge it under my eyes here just to finish off the eye look here. and Just kind of like bring it all together. And then we're gonna finish off with the MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara on those bottom lashes. All right, so moving on to a little bronzer, I'm gonna use this cream bronzer right here, which is an absolute favorite of mine. It's like the perfect, just sun-kissed, you know, bring that warmth to your skin. It's the Glow Skin Beauty, the cream blush it's called, but it's in the shade Warmth. And it is literally the best bronzer. So I'm gonna use this Beauty Blender right here, and I'm just gonna kinda dab into this product right here, just like that and I'm just gonna press it into my hairline up here, just kind of warm everything up. It's so natural, just blends so beautifully into the skin, and like I said, it just really gives you that just perfect sun-kissed look. It's not orangey, it's not ashy or any of that, you know, sometimes bronzers are. It's truly like such a beautiful color. And it just melts right into your skin. Then I'm gonna take the Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigments. I love these blushes. I was talking about these on my Instagram the other day. They're so good. And they're cream blushes. They just blend right in. Love them. This is in the shade Temptation. It's like a corally pink. And I'm gonna pop this onto my cheeks. I kind of just dab it in like this and then blend it in. You can use your finger. You can use a brush or sponge to blend them in. They just are really easy to work with too. So I'm gonna take this beauty blender again and just kind of just dab that in and they just leave like the most perfect color just natural yet just a good pop of you know color on your cheeks I always take my blush up around the temples a little bit too and just kind of blend it up and around but I love these blushes because you can kind of keep them more sheer or you can build them up depending on you know how much intensity of a blush you want but so gorgeous, you guys. I love them. All right, we are almost done. I'm gonna use the Osmosis Luminous Treatment. This is a primer or highlighter. This is another product that you can mix in with foundations. Gives an amazing luminosity and glow to your skin. But I just really like this as like a really pretty highlighter that you can just pat and dab into your skin. It gives the perfect glow. I'm just gonna put it right on the back of my cheekbones. All right, before we finish up with our lips, I'm just gonna set the T-zone with the Osmosis Powder. This is the pressed base powder that I set literally my T-zone with every single day. I am in the shade Natural Dark, and I'm gonna just get some of this. Just go down right on the T-zone. It just sets 
that, you know, T-zone for me perfectly because I have more oily skin, so I like to just set it with powder a little bit. And then finishing up with our lips today, I'm gonna use the Lawless Forget the Filler Liner. I am in love with these liners, you guys. I just got this one shade and I wanna go back and get more. This is in the shade Pink Sand. They're so creamy. Again, clean products. I love Lawless makeup and her liners did not disappoint. So, why is it stuck? All right, so let's just lightly line. This is like the most perfect, just like pinky, like natural pinky shade. But I'm telling you guys, if you did not get these liners yet, you will not be disappointed. They're so creamy and just make your lips just perfect. They go over any little like lip lines you might have, just roll right over them and smooth them. And that is just amazing. So I love these liners. Like I said, I'm totally going back to get another color. I am gonna use the Lawless Lipstick today in the shade Annie. And then finishing off this entire look, I'm gonna use the Glow Skin Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Cupcake. And I love these glosses because you can use them even without a lipstick underneath and they have great coverage, but they're very comfortable on the lips and great pigmentation. And again, Glow Skin Beauty, it's all clean. All right, so there you have it. There is my go-to makeup routine using some of my favorite cream products. Again, most of them are clean, good for your skin, and you can just see they just give such an amazing, beautiful glow to your skin, which is just very youthful, and I personally love a good glow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave all the links to these products down below in the description box. But thank you guys so much for hanging out, getting ready together with me today. Again, don't forget to hit subscribe and the thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.